हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप गौते आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इंग्लिश गुरु फॉर ऑल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बॉडी लैंग्वेज दैट इज ड्रेस एंड फिजिकल अपियरेंस एज फार एज बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज कंसर्न दीज टू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज ड्रेस और ड्रेस कोड एंड सेकेंड वन इज वॉट योर फिजिकल अपियरेंस both should be according to the context both should be according to the context and if you are not observing them according to the context then it they may influence i mean to say dress code as well as physical appearance may influence your communication process right now this is the formal situation i am delivering a lecture to you all and my dress code is formal so this is the formal situation and that is why my dress code is also formal and if i am using here for example jeans and t-shirt in that case you are not going to accept my dress sense in this context if you are going to attend particular wedding ceremony in that case your dress code can be casual one and that is accepted in that situation now what types of you can say aspects can be conveyed if you are going to consider both the ends of the communication process one is sender and another one is receiver means speaker and listener if the dress code of the sender is appropriate and according to situation it may help the receiver to understand the attitude of the person the attitude of the person and it is very useful in the communication process it also shows the confidence of the sender the confidence of the sender it is also important try to understand with the help of this kind of appearance you may show or you may indicate others that what is your attitude as well as wow, what is the level of your confidence and many things are there they can be conveyed with the help of this now the physical appearance should be already i told you that it should be according to context or situation it is all about it also indicates what social status it also indicates what social status of the person dress and physical appearance if you are going to use as far as physical appearance is concerned combing of hair is also the part of this how you keep your hair properly in the communication process even if you are coloring your hair now if that is odd if that is odd color in that case it may have some kind of impact on your communication process or in the communication process that that may hamper or that may block your communication process suppose you are coloring uh, your hair with what brown color is there in that case it may have different type of impact so this is all about you can say what dress code as well as physical appearance it should be according to the context and situation i gave you certain examples even both the sender and the receiver should think about it whatever i discussed about the sender or the dress code of sender it is applicable to also the receiver and if they are using that one according to the situation and context i am sure that it will have some kind of positive impact on the communication process or in the conversation thank you thank you so much please subscribe my youtube channel english guru for all like and share the videos thank you